Jumbo, everybody! In today's video, I'm going to share with you my 2016 holiday planner that I made from Dollar Tree materials. So let's go check it out. So I'm going to use a Dollar Tree composition book, an envelope, some labels, a book of post-its, a Sharpie marker, some scissors, packing tape, and some washi tape. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cover up the label that's on the front of the composition notebook. I wrote down 2016 holiday planner on there, but I didn't think it looked very nice. So I'm just going to take a label and cover that up and then take my Sharpie marker and write the same thing. 2016 holiday planner. So now I'm going to tape the book of post-its onto the inside of the front cover with some packing tape. So I'm just going to line it up where I want it and then open it to the back cover of the post-it book there and just going to tape it down with the packing tape. I'm going to use a little roll of tape behind it as well just to make sure that it's nice and secure. And I'll use that for my grocery shopping lists and anything else I might want to use a post-it for. And that's ready to go. So now on the inside here, I'm going to label my first section, which is my Thanksgiving section. So just using a label and a Sharpie to label that section. And then I'm going to take my washi tape and I'm going to create a tab divider on the side of this one. So I'm just going to take about two inches or so of washi and create a little tab divider at the top. So I'll tape half of the tape down on that um, side of the piece of paper there and then use the other piece of washi tape to cover up the sticky part on the back. And then I'm just gonna write Thanksgiving with my Sharpie. So now getting into my very first section under my Thanksgiving section, and this is my Thanksgiving plans. So just writing down um, everything that's in my mind to get it out of my mind, um, anything that has to do with our Thanksgiving travel plans. So now I'm going to label the next section under my Thanksgiving heading here. And this is going to be my Thanksgiving travel to-dos. So things I need to do at home before we travel, like print off our confirmations, lock the doors, notify our credit card company, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, just basic pre-trip to-dos. So I just have a space for that and I'll check things off as I get them done. So then my next section here is my Thanksgiving packing list. So just my travel packing list and I'll fill that in as we get closer to that time. Grab another label. And this is going to be Thanksgiving travel food plans. Um, we bring a lot of food, we're flying over you know, a meal time, so I have to take into account that, you know, packing up a dinner for us and making sure we have enough food to get us through before we get to the grocery store when we get to our destination and, and all that kind of stuff. And then just planning out our meals for the trip, just things that worked well for our last trip and just kind of getting that down on paper too. And then I'll create my uh, little checklist, shopping list after I get all that stuff down. So then my next section is my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday shopping plans. Since we are traveling over Thanksgiving, I'm not planning on really doing much Black Friday in-store shopping. Um, however, online shopping, if there are deals that warrant that, will not be out of the question to snag those. I typically do a lot of eBay and Amazon shopping, um, especially they have really good Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals historically, so making a section for that. So I'm just going to take my washi tape here, make a little tab divider, and it's just going to say Black Friday on that tab divider, and there we go. So just making my Black Friday list and my Cyber Monday list. And I'll be looking at the ads ahead of time too. There are a number of apps that offer, you know, what ads or what deals are gonna be available and what stores and this and that. So I'll be cross-referencing those and so all I'm putting here is what the item is, where it is at, 
and if I've purchased it. And then I like to keep track of my receipts as well. So I'm just going to tape an envelope into my Black Friday, Cyber Monday section here just to keep all of my receipts together. And I will be taking this notebook traveling just in case I happen to pick up some stuff while I'm out. And then moving on to my Christmas section. So doing the same thing here that I did for my other two sections. I have a Christmas planning label and I'm going to make a tab divider out of the washi tape close to the bottom of the page. Just measuring it up there so I know where to put it. And I'm just going to label this one Christmas with my Sharpie. And there are my three tab dividers. Not bad, right? So now moving on, this is my first Christmas section here. So I'm just gonna tape my Sharpie. And this is my Christmas meal ideas. We'll be eating autoimmune protocol slash paleo. So putting in different things that I've come across on Pinterest that have worked out well. I do have a Christmas um, and Thanksgiving Pinterest board that's all about healthy recipes. So I'll be cross-referencing that, but these are just things that are off the top of my head that I know will work really, really well for us certain kind of meats and vegetables and things like that. So then my next section here, putting a little label down. And this is my Christmas timeline. So I'm just going to be putting uh, Christmas Eve down here as well as Christmas Day. And I'm going to start at 9 a.m. And then do every half hour until I run out of paper. And I think that's about 6.30 or so on both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Just so I can, uh, you know, space out my cooking and space out the different things that we have going on on those two days with family. Um, we generally do family things both days. So then I have a Christmas gifts section here. And this is just what items that I am going to be, I'm planning on purchasing for family or that I already have purchased. So just allowing two pages for that. And my last section here under my Christmas section is um, stocking stuffers and things for my students and different groups that I am a part of. So this isn't family gifts necessarily, except for the stocking stuffer ideas, uh, but just kind of the extra gifts that I end up getting. So similar to what I did before, what is the gift, who is it for, and is it purchased or made yet? And I allow two pages for this. And that is it. So here's a flip through of everything that I did. You know, I've got my post-its there in the front, my Thanksgiving plan section. So my Thanksgiving travel to-dos, my little checklist there, my Thanksgiving packing list, it's blank at this point, but I'll be filling that in soon, my Thanksgiving food and meal ideas, and if I'm going to be making any kind of Thanksgiving type dinner or something while I'm on um, our vacation, I might, I might not, but I have a space for that if I do. Black Friday, Cyber Monday section, so I've got my Black Friday online deals, as well as my Cyber Monday online deals with the store, the item, and if it's been purchased and for who. And then I've got a little receipt holder here, a little envelope in this section. And then I have my Christmas planning section. So the first thing is my meal ideas, just things that I had off the top of my head that I figured would work well for a Christmas meal, and my Christmas Eve timeline, as well as my Christmas Day timeline, detailed out every half hour, 9 to 6.30 p.m. And my Christmas gift section, who, what, and if it's been purchased. So I've got two pages allowed for that. And then I have a space for stocking stuffers and my music students and other types of groups that I'll be purchasing things for. And that is it. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe, so you never miss a Daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.